I'm hanging out once again with Diana Sowers from the Nassau Humane Society. And, you know, I got when like, hey, you're going to talk to Diana and it's about quail. And I was like, a bird? I did not know. It is not a bird. He is not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about not quail. Not any way she perform. <laughs> you tell us a little bit about the man. So this is my buddy Quail, and he is the absolute sweetest. I am obsessed with him because I love a big blockhead, and he has got one. Um, he came to us from the county shelter. Um, they got him while they were under quarantine, so they were not able to adopt him out. And he is listed as eight years old, and he is just super duper sweet, as you can see. Oh, thank you for the kisses. He, um, I dressed him up for Nicole Burling. Her favorite color was pink, so he totally let me put this on him. He does not care that he is wearing a pink t-shirt. He is just loving life and is hanging out with us. He saw our lobby cat this morning, didn't pay any attention to it. Hey, he has friends here. He's good with other dogs. I'm assuming he would be fabulous with kids because he is just a big old pile of mush. So, and he, <laughs> he seems is to be definite. Perfect. He is definitely a lover boy. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> now you talk about putting him. Up. I mean, I'm a man who wears pink well, and he's obviously wearing it well. But the shirt actually is representative of something you guys have been doing for the past five years, and now you're going into year six. Yes. So Nicole Burling, we honor her through Presents for Pets, and that is a donation uh, drive that her mom and family put together for her in honor of her. She passed away from epilepsy, and her birthday wish was to have a birthday party where she donates her presents from the party to the local animal shelter, and she was not able to get to that birthday. So in honor of that, every year, um, we do presents for pets. There's donations collected for the Nassau Humane Society, um, German Shepherd Group, Paw Paws Rescue, and London's Pet Sanctuary. Um, every year they switch it up um, for the recipients of the presents. But we always honor her every year because she was a great little girl and we do miss her. And, you know, it's a good cause. And, oh, you know, then we can put dogs and pink t-shirts. <laughs> now the original plan was to do it in May, but due to circumstances, you guys have pushed it back, but are still going forward. When is everything going down? Yes, her birthday is, I believe, May seventeenth. Um, I know it is the end of May. We usually celebrate it right around Memorial Day, um, and it has been pushed back due to the COVID to July twelfth. Um, it will be held at Hot Paws um, on Fernandina Beach. We're going to do a. Um, a car wash, there will be pet nail trimmings, there will be pony rides, there will be donations collected, a 50-50 raffle. Um, a lot goes on that day. It's a lot of fun. And um, every year just gets bigger and better. And if people want to uh, buy quail, you're done. So uh, <laughs> if people want to know more about possibly meeting quail or about uh, the presents for pets, where would they go? They would go to, well, for to meet Quail, you would go to www.nassauhumane.org. Um, check out his bio there. And for Presents for Pets, check out the Facebook page. It's Presents for Pets in honor of Nicole Burling. And there is the flyer there. There will be updated information. I know Lori, her mom, is trying to set up a GoFundMe account as well. Um, so once that's up, she'll put that on the post as, um, on the page. Uh, but it's two separate things. Um, but definitely Nicole Burling, you can Google that or go on Facebook and that Presence for Pets will pop up for that. Beautiful. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Quail. Good luck and fun in your forever home, dude. I would definitely take you in, but I'm a gypsy right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, he kind of is too. It's okay. Oh, yeah? He can be gypsies together. <laughs> All right. As long as it, he can put like one of those long sticks with a bag, a hobo bag on top. <laughs> oh, I'm sure if you put a backpack on him, he'll be good to go. Like, no problem. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. All right. Thanks for having me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Another day with showers and thunderstorms. We'll watch these form along the I-75 corridor as early as the lunch hour progressing across US-1, 301, and the 95 corridor here as we get to